Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing a 2021 Volkswagen Atlas SEL Premium R-Line in tourmaline blue with Shetland and quartzite leather interior. This one features LED headlights, LED running lights, LED all-weather lights, the 21-inch Brazelton R-Line wheels, that front fascia for the uh, R-Line grille right there, that more aggressive front end right here and here. Notice how the LED headlights go into the grill. And there's a plane flying over. People fly in, drive out. Granted, it's a small plane, but still, they're flying in to see me, possibly. <laughs> All right, you do feature chrome uh, right here on the side of the doors and below that body colored paint down there, which is normally a hard plastic. It also goes into the bumper back here. You have quad full exhaust tips on the back. They're split into four, an oversized reflector on the back. There's your LED tail lights, LED turn signals, LED reverse lights, and the chrome fee feeds right into that. Also, this one has a bumper dillo right there, that chrome piece on the back there. We're going to add puddle lights to this one as well. It has a chrome exhaust uh, and chrome roof rails, chrome surround around the windows, and an R-Line badge at the base of the door. Let's take a look inside. As we look inside here, memory seats right here, lumbar support right here, forward and back and seat back. There's a look at those perforated seats with the quartzite stripe up the side and the bolster and behind the shoulders. Adjustable headrest right there. Uh, Shetland leather leatherette right here with the bow white stitch. And on the doors here you have this stitching, this premium stitching in the door and also on the padding here. The window buttons are all going to be in, done in black. Uh, they're one touch up, one touch down, and then your easy open trunk uh, hatch releases right there. So as we climb in, you're going to notice a few things right off the bat here. Automatic headlights right here, the all weather lights. You just pull out on this guy right here and that turns those on. Coin box for storage right here. You do have a telescoping steering wheel. Just pull down on that little lever right there. Now I can pull out, push in, raise it, lower it, lock it wherever I want it, and then put it back. Flat silver finish on the spokes right here. Piano black treatment right here uh, at the base with the R-Line logo. You do also have Volkswagen's digital cockpit right there with the dial screen. There's a crop screen or wide screen and then a crop screen there. And to help you with that, I'm gonna change something on nav here. I'm gonna turn on nav on the center cup cluster here so you can see uh, what I'm talking about about these displays. So this is crop screen. There is the dial screen again and then there is uh, the wide screen. And I can zoom in and zoom out using these arrow up and arrow down buttons right here. So I can zoom in and then zoom right back out. Uh, this car does have um, the, the temperature gauge over here the fuel gauge is over here, and then you have the little R-Line logo right there in the middle. And this is customizable, so I can use the tabs on the other, either side of the OK button here to change what's displayed here between assist systems, uh, driving data, uh, and then vehicle status, telephone, and then also audio, and back to navigation. So you have all of these different features. This essentially is a mouse. Your heated steering wheel is right here, and just by pushing that, I can turn it on. And then my adaptive cruise control and safety features are all over here. Uh, for adaptive cruise control, it shows up right here. And once I hit the plus button right here, it changes that speed. And if I touch and hold, it changes it by five mile an hour increments. Travel assist is this button right here. Once adaptive cruise control is on, that's gonna be a part of that as well. That's my lane assist and it works um, from 40 miles an hour up and then it works as part of a system with uh, with uh, adaptive cruise control back over to the radio though we have an AM FM and satellite radio with internet radio as well so when I go to radio here I have source I have AM FM Sirius XM internet radio Bluetooth audio and my media so I have all of those different settings there let's change it to satellite Okay, so I have satellite radio going right there. Um, it's HD for AM and FM. And then I also have App Connect, which allows me to do Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, or Mirrorlink using 
uh, wireless connectivity or these two USB-C connections right here. Um, I do have a third USB-C connection right here in the armrest. Lots of room for storage in here. A medium purse fits in there well. Uh, wireless charging is down here. Uh, back to the radio here, I'm gonna show you the backup camera. The backup camera on this one here does have trajectory steering. So when I turn the wheel left or right, the yellow line moves accordingly. The red line stays put, that shows where your bumper is, or that represents where your bumper is, and then the green line also represents moving straight back. Um, you do also have um, a 360 camera here, so if I push this button here, it brings up the overhead view. I can touch any quadrant of the camera here to bring up a specific angle, and then touch the roof to go back to the overhead, and there's actually sensors that light up here to detect when you're getting close to an object. Um, and then you can also change to a 3D mode. Um, you can also do, um, let's see here, there's trailer modes, there's all kinds of different modes you can do here. Pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And you can move that, I've, that's the first time playing with that. Now that's pretty cool. All right. So I'm gonna go back here, I'm gonna exit out of that. You can also hook that up for a trailer and what have you there. Um, here's a look at your key fob. This is the regular key fob here. This one has uh, the lock and unlock and the trunk release there and remote start. The panic alarm on the side. You will get one of the fancy keys too with the chrome and it's gonna be a little heavier, a little more weighted than this one. Uh, this is all wheel drive so it's going to have this shift knob here where I can change between snow uh, then eco, normal, sport, and custom, and then driving modes, off-road, and then off-road custom, of course, and then I can adjust and tweak things here, so adaptive cruise control, sport, normal, eco, steering the same, um, adaptive cruise control, and climate control are all part of this as well, so I want to exit out of that and go back to the roadway, um, and then this saves on fingerprints, so I can push the mode button here and change on the screen so I don't have to touch the screen, but there's eco, normal, sport, and custom, and it's also gonna change over here in the digital cockpit. When you change, you can see it up here, sport. As I change that, custom, and then eco. All right, now there's carbon fiber type finish across the dash here, flat silver finish right here. In the glove box, there's where your manuals are kept. Um, you also have SD card holders right here. Not sure why they kept those after they deleted the SD card reader, but they kept these. Uh, and then the CD player is gone. There's a look at those insets in the door again. Leather seats that are heated and ventilated. Right here you have these two buttons right here for those. Um, you can run them simultaneously as well. Um, and then your vent setups are right here. Um, you do also have uh, on the menu option here, you can hit that. And now you have uh, front or rear touchscreen capabilities here. You can change the temperature, you can also change the fan speed, and also turn the system on and off, um, and then unlock and lock the rear display there, or rear um, climate control if you have kids that like to mess with things. Storage bin right here, speaker right here as well, and this unit is sold right there guys. Uh, these people are from uh, Alabama, and they're actually buying a car from me up here. Um, they totaled their Atlas that they had before, absolute total loss, and the husband walked away with a concussion and some scratches and bruises, but the uh, cabin did not compromise. He was uh, alive and well. Um, this one does have an auto dimming mirror with a digital compass right there, three door garage door memory at the base, vanity mirror with an LED light above on each side, just like they always do there. And then you have this giant panoramic sunroof with a power sunshade. As the rain clouds are gathering again, we're probably gonna get dumped on again. We've been getting copious amounts of rain today. Uh, so I had a chance to make this video, so I pieced one together. There's a look at the pop-up windscreen there, and there's a look at all of your cabin space that's covered by uh, the panoramic sunroof as you look back at the back there. Let's take a look at the third, the second and third row. Oh, and it does have Fender Premium Audio. Back here in the back windows, you do have a sunshade that pops up right there. That's standard from the SE up. Fender Premium Audio here as well. Nice armrest here. 
more of the uh, beige stitching, the, the white stitching on the beige inset here. Here's a look at the second row seats. These seats are also going to be heated. Uh, they are not ventilated, but they're heated. And they are leather seats as well. Your arm, the uh, handle here to fold the seat down and also to recline the seat. So that seat will fold flat. These seats will also fold flat. So just lift up on this handle here and release the seat. And these seats are designed. So if you're carrying someone in a booster, the bottom drops out, the seat pitches forward. The booster seat does not have to be removed. Just remember to remove the kid. But the seat drops down so you don't have, it saves you time and uh, it allows you to get it loaded up and unloaded faster. So there's easy access right here. Notice how high off the floor the seat's set. Two-way switch right here, so the move forward I lift this way, the move back I lift this way, and then there's a bar underneath the seat. I lift up, squeeze, and push the seat back. Seat hookups are right here and there on this seat, and also right here and here on this seat as well. Climate control right here. Uh, the rear passengers have access to it right here. There is a USB port right here, two USB ports right here, USB-C, and then a, a three-prong plug-in right here. So you have that as well. I want to climb in here so you can see the leg room. I have tons of leg room here, magazine pocket here, and magazine pocket there. There's a look through from the center console over to the instrument cluster there, and then up above, giant panoramic sunroof. There's your seat belt adjust there. Now we had to order this car for this customer because we just simply weren't going to get a blue with Shetland without ordering it. Um, now if you guys are liking this color combination, this configuration, I would suggest that you order the car. You can order it through me if your dealer's not willing to do that. The key is you'll have to be willing to travel to see me in St. Louis to do that. So I understand that a lot of people want to do it online, but my dealership requires you to sign in person. So that's what we have. This one here, here's a look at that panoramic sunroof there, that center console right there, the instrument cluster up front, and the center console back here, the floor and the vent there. C-pillar vents on either side. These seats do fold flat, just with the flick of a wrist. And you have a Velcro strap that attaches to the carpet just like that, and I can pull on that and pull that seat back into place steel reinforced seats so in the event of a crash or an accident no one's injured in the back sitting in the back seat uh through due to uh flying objects from the back cargo area those seats are also steel reinforced as well a lot of manufacturers do not spend uh money or time in that there as you look up right there there is another plane fly in drive out guys seriously i'll pick you up at the airport monster match right here cargo blocks right here there is a look at your spare tire right there and the ball mount in the, for the uh, tow hitch is all right there and the spare tire is underneath the floor right there this car comes with three years of free maintenance your 10 20 and 30,000 mile oil change are covered uh, if you buy here locally that third year of free maintenance is through our dealership that's a local deal only so it does come with two years of free maintenance from the manufacturer and that's good at any Volkswagen dealer in the country also if you buy from me you're going to get a 10-year 200,000 mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge 10 years 200,000 miles nationwide as I said before people are coming from Alabama for this car um, if you're interested in a car like this one please give me a call 636-290-4257 636-290-4257 I'm on Instagram YouTube Facebook and Twitter at Reese Sells Cars. Thank you very much, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy.